Hello everyone, this is Dumb Old Dad bringing you yet another video and in this video I'm going to be unboxing a motion light sensor by Billy. Now the cooler, cool part about this um, motion light sensor, in fact I've made other videos of other motion lights, in fact I even installed them in one and if you look up in here I'll put a little card that says installing a motion light outdoors but this one is by billing it is an all-in-one so you do not have to connect it to power so these are completely solar powered so here on the top you'll see the solar panels and so these do need to be put in an area where they can uh, absorb the sun then on the front here is the little sensor that will turn it on and then I think the front is just a regular old button. So I think it has to sense that it's dark and I think it also has to sense movement. So what I'm gonna be doing is all you have to do is drill a hole into both of these, set it up on the side of your house and then this little guy will absorb the light and it will generate the electricity to turn on all of these LOD LEDs when it sees somebody passing by. So I'm gonna be installing these outside. They gave me two of them. So here is the second one. So I'm gonna be installing these outside and I will put them in an area where there's sun. Now I'm in a cold climate area too, so we'll see whether they get enough energy to turn on at night when it's cold. But you just connect these up, no power, no batteries, they are just solar powered. So I'll show you how these work. I'll put them up on the side of my, of my house and then I'll give you a review of how they work. So if you would like to buy these little solar light panels, um, motion lights, then I'll leave a link down in the description and you can buy them yourself. So I'm gonna be installing this billing solar motion light sensor. And I think I'm gonna put it right up here above this door so that when my dog goes in and out or when people go in and out of this door at night, this light will come on. So we will see if it works. The first issue that I found is I am not sure how to put it up here because the top part is solar, so it needs to see the sun. And if I put it right here, I don't know if it's gonna see the sun. Look how there's no, the sun is not hitting the thing. So I might have to move it out to here so that the sun will now hit the solar panel and uh, be able to charge up. So I don't know, I think maybe I'll do it up here because that, that siding that I have is metal this one is wood, so I'll be able to just nail it up there with just those holes, and then um, it should work. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna nail it onto the wood. So there's already a light up here. You may have seen that. And uh, there's no bulbs in there, and it does take electricity, so I'm hoping not to have to mess with electricity. That's a nice thing about these outdoor sensors that I have here is that they're solar, so you do not have to plug them into electricity. You can put them up anywhere you want to as long as they get some sun and then they get recharged. So I'm hoping to replace this ugly thing with something like that. Yeah, it's gonna be much better. Can't wait to get it tested out tonight in the dark. I'm gonna run past it and see if it'll light up. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. This uh, packet, they came with some screws and they came with these little in-wall things. So if you're doing it into somewhere that's not wood, I guess this would help you do that. But my dad calls these grabber screws. Can you see that, the grabber screw? And then, I don't know, this is a regular screw, but there you go. I think uh, they call these hex head. Anyway, if you're a dad, you'd know those things. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here and uh, give it a test drive here. I'm not the best at this stuff. I don't like doing construction. I'm not a construction worker. So we'll see how it goes here. 
I hate that. Okay, the stupid screw falls down. Probably no, not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm just a dad. I'm just doing trial and error. It's good to go in the right direction. Okay, there's the first one. Let's get the second one up there. Okay. All right, I think that's it. That is my outdoor light sensor all installed. And uh, we'll have to come out here tonight and see if that motion detector will um, will activate the LED lights and see how bright it is. So stay tuned. One second later, it'll probably just be a snap. Okay, here I am at night and my little light came on as I came out the door. You wanna see it? There it is. And it works. I don't know how that shows up very well, but it works pretty well. Uh, you do have to hold the button in. There's a little uh, on off button on there. So you have to hold that button in for about five seconds for it to be activated. But um, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll do a few more nights and uh, see if it stays charged with uh, how much light it gets. But hey, I think it worked great. And I didn't have to plug in any electrical outlets or anything. That's the best part. All right, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and comment down below. We'll see you next time on Dumb Old Death. Whoa!